There's this overarching theme that enterprises are struggling with converging, networking, and security. And really, it's being driven by the increased use of cloud applications, but really it's the complexity of all of the different technologies and developments that have happened over the last three or four years in the security and networking space. Uh, why, and, and one of the things that we, uh, we did as part of the report, of course, is we did a survey of enterprises uh, uh, focused in North America, and it's clear that there's underpinning that one of the biggest challenges that enterprises so we saw overwhelming in the survey is that the skill gaps. Uh, there's still organizational silos, security and networking, and as much as the vendors and solutions are moving towards convergence, and we'll, we have some good examples of that, the organizations in these, the enterprise staff it's still, you know, is it a networking buy, led by a networking buyer team or a security buyer team? And all of these markets, and this includes SD-WAN, SASE, Network as a Service, Campus LAN, they're different conversion points, but each enterprise is on a different journey. And one of the things we try to do in the report is say, okay, where is that enterprise starting point to move to convergence? Is it a zero trust discussion? Is it a different business model? I want to consume a network and security as a service, or I'm looking at a new generation of security and SASE. You know, I've heard about SASE. So we'll, you know, unpack a lot of that in the report and look at where what should enterprises be looking for? You know, the end, and some recommendations over the next 12 to 18 months. And similarly for vendors, who are the leaders in these different convergence areas? And who are the companies that are likely to, you know, face some challenges as well?